Welcome everybody to this tutorial video. We're going over the docks and uh, in more detail and also finishing up this dock. I'm going to try to put three of these uh, longboats in here in a craven. I don't think there's enough room for four uh, longboats. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that. I'm going to uh, talk through as I'm doing this. Alright, so to start off, um, the longboat slips for the, the boat dock need to be three uh, like wall tile, ceiling tile, floor tile need to be three wide with the 26 degree uh, roof, slanted roofs in order for the boat to fit in there um, I like having that nice little walkway along the one side so I'm going to do four if you want a walkway on both sides then you'll need to do uh, five wide so I'm going to go ahead and do four wide like so Put some ceiling tiles here so I don't fall between them. And then I like to do a little end cap uh, right here as well on the end of each section as I do it. And you don't need to uh, build a dock in deep water. This just happens to be where I started my build. You can do it in much shallower water. Uh, one of the other docks that I did, I did um in an area that was covered in reeds and i just dug it out deep enough for the boat to fit up in there i'd still walk across the entire bottom of it i think really it only needs to be roughly like one wall deep water in order to uh, get the boat to go in and out without hitting the bottom for the long boat and the craven i think is even shallower all right so when you do this it's nice to have a little bit of a uh, you know like scaffolding going around so I build scaffolding going out like this um, build my walls out I like using the uh, round beams going out for support when I'm going in deeper water just because it's two instead of the the one walls uh, long um, building the scaffolding out is where it really helps to uh, be able to place your beams so I'm going to end up taking these walls out eight long. Do some more scaffold here. And scaffold still needs support too. So as I'm going out, I try to use the, the wall that I'm going off of as support. So then for this, right, I got my beam down there. Um, I'm going to probably do another beam then. It's not a whole lot of room right there to really, to really get... Uh, the vertical beam in there but now I should be fine and there's that all right swim down here zoom in make sure it's in the ground because I have done this before where it's not in the grounds and then this happened on the first slip that I built you know a couple months ago the fr the the far end wasn't all the way in the ground and I end up losing some of that stuff uh, just due to structural integrity or lack of support So as I'm doing this, um, I'm going to do out eight of these walls long. The only reason I'm stopping at eight is because at that point I'm in deeper water than I can uh, I can build. But you can go out. One of the other ones I did, I went out eleven, and that seemed to be to like uh, encompass the entire long boat, and then still gave me a tad bit of extra room on the end made it feel a lot more like a, like a real dock. So you can go, uh, I'm going to do 8, but you can go 11 if you would rather. And then you don't have to fill in down there between those, um, between those vertical uh, pillars, those pylons. Um, it's a bit of a pain to try to get it, especially when I'm going this deep. So if you are going deep, you don't have to get down that far, but you can. All right, now that all that's done, I'm going to go through and just in that center one between the two wall layers, I'm going to place ceiling tiles going out on one side. Let's grab that real quick. 
Right, just double check. Yep, I did it on the left side. So I'm gonna do it on the left side over here too, trying to make it uniform. So take the 26 degree um, ceilings and place them right between the two. For this depth of water, the way the water goes up and down so much, that's why I chose to do that. But right there where I just made that mistake and I went down just slightly lower, probably would have been easier getting the, the long boats in and out if I would have left it there. So the height of it, you kind of have to play around with uh, the area that you're in, depending on the water. So the last stock I built, we didn't have the problem where the water came up this high. And so just um, leaving them right there in the center works perfect. This one I probably could have went down just a little under centered between those two and it probably would have worked out between the two uh, wall layers. It probably would have worked out better. But take the 26 degree ceiling tiles, place or uh, roof tiles, place them along there. That gives you a nice little area between where water is still sitting there. You can see the water is not real high up on those uh, when, the, when it kind of evens out, which is probably why this happens where the boat just kind of sits there and gets stuck. If I went down that little bit of extra, it probably would have been fine. That's where the, the plane with a little bit comes in. But you don't have to destroy the whole structure to redo that. You just have to go through and move the ceiling or move those roof tiles down. Instead of snapping them, you can just hold shift, get them down to the height you want, and then place them and go from there. All right, let's just get this boat in there. The good thing about using these roof, roof slanted roof tiles too is when the water does go up and down, your boat's in a bob. If you don't put those cross beams in there like I do to kind of like put them in there like a seat belt to kind of help secure it, but it'll go up and down, but it'll always come right back down to the to the center. Keeps getting stuck there. This is where it would have helped to leave it down, but. Right there, as you can see, it'll slide back down. So for the long boats, um, you need at least three wide, and you make it as long as you want then. I would do at least halfway to make sure it's gonna be far enough, but this eight long seems to be pretty good. It goes almost to the end of the boat. All right, and there's that. I'm gonna go through and um, go ahead and make another slip. I'm gonna speed it up so it goes by a lot faster. And then I'll show you the Craven slip.
So for building the Craven Slips, you're going to need at least two and a half walls wide. I'm going to go ahead and do closer to three and a half. Just because, I all, again, I like that little walkway along the side of it. But two and a half wide, along with your 26 uh, degree ceilings, in order to get the boat to stay in there. So if you don't want the walkway right here, the two and a half wide that I just put down, this is how wide you're going to want it. That's the minimum required uh, in order to use this method for the Craven. I'm going to go ahead and move it out a little bit farther. That's only half. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, there we go. Grab more wood. Dump the rest of this. Don't need any of this in here. All right. So two and a half wide minimum. I'm going to do closer to three and a half. That's not centered. try this again but two and a half wide is what you need that's a weird angle and now I'm rocking too much whoops all right there we go this should work that's pretty close to about two and a half and this area over here is mostly shallow enough that you can kind of just stand here the craven um, you really only need a little over half of a wall height deep water in order to get it to work in there. It just needs to be enough water to cover the bottom portion of the uh, the ceiling tiles, the roof tiles. Let's back this up a little bit. So right here on the left, the eight wide, or eight long rather. One reason I have that is because I have the long boat slips right there. And this isn't wide enough to go ahead and do another long boat slip. So I'm just going to do a craven. There we go. Wait for the water to come back up. Again, I probably should have made all these a little bit lower. But I can always go back and do that. That's not a big deal. Put the roof tiles slightly down. Alright, let's see. That's not going to work. Go ahead and put that there. This is me one extra. All right, so that's going to be a total of five. Whoops, it's going to be a total of five long to fit the the whole craven in there. Again, you can go as long or as short as you want. I would go at least three though. Do at least halfway for whatever size boat you're doing. So if it's the craven, do at least three. If it's the long boat, you're gonna do at least you want to gonna want to do at least five, uh, most likely. And you put your slope tiles in there. So roof tiles, and then I mean that's pretty much it. But right here you can see it's the two and a half. If it's almost perfect. It's about what you want in there is two and a half. Seems to be a good good amount for that. And uh, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna fill up the rest of these, and that'll be it. Thanks you all for watching.